Hi, I'm Council Member Jose Weezer from the 14th Council District, and I'm here today to recognize the great work that the White Memorial Medical Center uh, is doing, uh, not only in Boa Heights, but throughout the region. And today was a very special day in City Council because we are actually acknowledging two very special employees who are doing marvelous work in the community and for the hospital. So let me at this time introduce the President and CEO of the hospital, Beth Zacker. Thank you, Councilman Wizar, and thank you for the invitation today and for your support throughout the year to help White Memorial keep its doors open and keep its services to its community. This morning we have brought two of our employees, as our Councilman said, to share with you a number of initiatives that are underway at the White Memorial to support gang prevention and just as importantly to promote employment and to keep our employees and our patients safe in Boyle Heights. First of all, I would like to introduce Mike Garcia, who is a gang worker in our emergency department. Hello, my name is Mike Garcia. <coughs> uh, like I've said before, I was a former gang member. Uh, I was raised in Boyle Heights in Aliso Village housing projects. For about 30 years, I was running around uh, destroying lives um, about 23 years, 22 years ago, uh, I decided that I was going to start making amends to my community and start working with the people. For the last eight years of those 20-something years, I've been working at the White Memorial. Uh, when gang members come in, shot up, stabbed, or, or jumped, or whatever, uh, I'm there for them. I work with them. I work with their families. And also, I'm on the liaison between the, the staff there and the gang members. And I'm also walk around the hospital and making sure that there's no graffiti in our hospital. And if there is, I usually go to the gang and I, and I talk to them, I explain to them that this is our hospital, that we gotta keep it looking nice. And 99% of the time, they listen. Uh, I also volunteer for the Metrolink that is going through Boyle Heights. Um, I'm on the safety committee, and uh, I teach them what to do well, if, they, if any gang members approach them or their machinery. So I'm pretty active in my community. Uh, tonight I'm going to be on the streets looking out for the young kids who are going trick-or-treating and making sure that they are safe. And this is what I do for my community, and I do for the White Memorial Hospital. I would also like to introduce Martha Romero, who is a registered nurse at White Memorial. Martha participated in a nursing scholarship and nursing residency program that we offer at White Memorial to create nurses from our own community. Uh, there are 64 nurses who have gone through this program, uh, and, but Martha is one of, uh, one of those with a beautiful story. Martha, could you share your experience? Uh, hello, my name is Martha Romero, and I also, like Mike, grew up in the community. I was raised in the Ramona Gardens Housing Projects. Um, as a young child, I've witnessed so many gang-related shootings, and um, myself uh, was afflicted from um, my husband being passed, um, he was shot in a drive-by, and um, I also lost a brother to gang-related shootings. So it's become a passion of mine to speak against um, gang prevention, and um, because of all the challenges that I face trying to um, go forward and um, become something in the community. It was really difficult trying to find outlets and avenues. And when I was in college, I, I ran into a program White, through White Memorial Hospital and Talaku. They collaborated together. I received a $10,000 scholarship, which financially it helped me immensely. Um, and now that I am on my two feet, I'm able to give back to the community. I work um, heavily with um, a lot of the local community high schools. I also speak with some of the community colleges. Um, I, one of my passions is also trying to get scholarships for nursing programs because I know how much it affected um, my life. So I just want to thank uh, White Memorial and uh, Talaku Rio Hondo College for the collaboration that they have in helping the nurses from the community and also lending us a voice and um, giving us the opportunity to give back. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. I would also like to introduce another person who is very important to White Memorial, Eduardo Angeles, who is a member of our board and has worked very closely with our community to help us develop important community services. Um, 
On behalf of the White Memorial Foundation Board, uh, I'd like to thank Councilmember Weasel for his leadership uh, in the Boyle Heights community, but in all of the city of Los Angeles. It really is through his leadership and uh, his help and assistance to White Memorial Hospital that we're uh, able to do some of the programs that uh, we serve the community and the constituency from which he served as well. So thank you very much, Councilmember. And on behalf of the board, uh, thanking really the work and the efforts of these two, two individuals and their commitment in their lives to making Los Angeles and Angelinos' lives a much better place. So thank you, Beth. Thank you very much, and thank you, White Memorial, for the work you do. And thank you to these two very special individuals today. You are truly blessings to the city of Los Angeles and also inspirations for all of us. Thank you very much.